getting back to Maui for a moment, before I even get to my list, but getting back to Maui, one of the big questions in Maui is the missing children. This has been on everybody's mind. What happened to the school buses? Um, yeah, because the whole report's coming out, well, the bus yard was full one day, and now after the fires, all the buses are gone. Where are the buses? There was a video that came out saying that, yes, I've found the buses. They're all at this old military base. And we've done a bit of a search, and online we've found that military base. It's an airfield. And it's kind of interesting how you get to this military base. Well, how you see it anyway. It's, it's kind of interesting how you see it on Google Earth, because if you go to Google Earth or Google Maps, then you see this military base or this, this old airfield, which was decommissioned a few years ago, and it's, uh, there's nothing there. The, the photos are quite old, but there's a process you can go through to actually see a new photo of the place. And I'll just switch back to a video that I'll prepare later at home and uh, show you how to check this out for yourself. Okay, folks, so here we go. Now here's Hawaii, Lahaina. Um, you can see the new pics of the fires, the fire damage is all there on Google Earth. You can see all the burnt out buildings. You know, there's trade winds, the resort, and you know, it's all burnt out. If you actually go back a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a month, you see it all before the fires, you go forward to now, and you see it all burnt out. What I wanted to show you, this reports of this military base and where the buses are now. This military base is this airfield over here. You see where that is in relation to Lahaina. There's Lahaina. Here's the military base down here. So when you zoom in and look at this, there's an area here where all the buses are parked. That's quite interesting. Like um, when you look at the area, here oh they're all there now well look at that I was going to show you a process you had to go through to actually see these buses but I don't have to but there's all your buses folks they're all parked there at this military base I must have just added this photo like in the last two days because there was this quite complicated process you had to go through to find this photograph and see these buses but that's all of the school buses. You look at it, there's about 20 or 30 buses there, maybe more. And they're all the buses from the Lahaina area. An important thing is this racetrack. This is like a dirt bike track. And this is also a motorsport track, obviously. So we've got two lots of motorsport. Here's another dirt bike track here. And surrounding this whole area are cane fields. These are all cane fields. Now pay special attention to this building here. This building with these five vents on top. And this other building over here, which is a telephone exchange. So I guess that's all I need to show you. Um, that building, the telephone exchange, these racetracks, and the fact that all of the buses that we thought were missing from Lahaina are all parked here. Interestingly, over here as well, there is a concrete works. It's actually a concrete facility. You can see the piles of concrete. This is where they make a cement. It's actually a cement works or whatever. So that might be something to pay attention to a little bit later on as well. But now I'll get back to the video. Now there was another video that came out oh, seven years ago which showed people exploring tunnels which I would suggest are also near this base. These people were on Maui and if you listen to the, I'll just play you a couple of minutes of it, just show you the, the opening dialogue and a little bit of what they were finding when they went down the elevator which actually took them down 300 feet and this is just one place. I'm not sure where this place is but I have an idea where it might be and I just ha just have a look at this. This is Smoking Motorsports. We got Red and Benford right here. We're reporting with side pipes in Wisconsin. This is side pipes. I'm gonna take Wisconsin's in here. Yep. This is Wisconsin. We're in this big generator thing. 
fresh water pump. Fresh water pump of some kind, we're gonna take an elevator downstairs. So the elevator stops and then just goes Can you stick the camera out, Brad, right here? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's for the batteries, but... Did you take the full length of the ride? Oh. Ever since we walked into the building so far, bro. 290 feet. Can I push this it says right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So almost 300 feet. Yeah. We're going to a 600 foot one? Yeah, we'll go try to figure out which one. It's hot up here. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. This is straight fucking what we're going to make right here. What are these, bro? These are old mine shafts. Yeah, yeah. This is areas where they cut off the side. Go for it, Benford. You want to take the camera? Here you go. I'll zoom it in all the way in. There you go, sir. Yeah, now, as you can see, there are tunnels that exist around Maui, and it's just them. I mean, there's, there's probably lava tubes. There's lava tubes all through the Hawaiian Islands, folks. There's probably a really extensive tunnel system through Maui that a lot of people probably don't even know about. The government's probably bought parts of it off or whatever. These guys at the opening dialogue there, you heard them say they were with uh, motorsports. They're there for motorsports. And if you look at the airfield there, you'll notice there's a motorsports track there, like a, a bike track, dirt bike track. So that would indicate that this may be where they are. And they said hidden in the cane fields. And on that side of the base, and actually all around that airfield, you'll notice there are cane fields all around it. So. I would suggest that this may be the building they were in, this particular building here. I mean, I might be wrong, it could be any building around the airbase. But the interesting thing about this building is that just near this building, there is another building which is a telecom exchange. It's a, it's a phone exchange, you know, all the phone lines go there. And on the side of this building, for years, there's a, been uh, graffiti there saying, basically where are the missing children. There's a whole bunch of children go missing in Maui. Apparently it's quite a hot spot for missing children. And so they've been painting their names up on the wall, then it gets blacked out and then they paint new names up there again. And at the moment, if you go and look on Google Maps, you'll find that it's been blacked out again. So it's interesting why the government wouldn't want these names up there of these missing children. It's like they don't want you to know the children are missing, but it's just interesting. So there's all the school buses at this airbase. There's this tunnel system nearby, there's this sign about missing children in the area. Interesting stuff. Like I say, I, I don't know whether that tunnel system would have been how they smuggled people out. I mean, looking at what those guys found in there, it's sort of pretty ugly. If you're going to steal a thousand children or two thousand children, I doubt that's the tunnel system you'd take them through. But it does show you clearly that there is a tunnel system that exists near this airfield in Maui which, I, as I said, is a, is a decommissioned airfield. Right next door to it, you'll notice there's also a big concrete manufacturing plant. That would be very handy in building tunnels, wouldn't it? Just happens to be there, really close proximity. I'm not saying it's involved, but it's definitely interesting.